Om Shanti, we are here with 16th of September's Golly Blessing. Supreme Father is telling us that we have to emerge our original eternal sanskars. That means our eternal habits as a soul, our purity, our love, our bliss, our good wishes and not hatred or jealousy or greed. These are the learnt sanskars or habits which we learnt over a period of time and we saw that the world is becoming corrupt, the world is... <clears throat> excuse me, becoming revengeful, the world is becoming greedy and we have to protect ourselves. People harmed us and that's where we became a little harsh or we became hard and we were like tit for tat, right? So this is where we learnt negative sanskars or negative habits. So God says, may you overcome all problems as a flying bird by letting your eternal sanskars emerge. What are my eternal sanskars? My eternal sanskars are humility, truth, uh, our uh, benevolence, our our practicality, our generosity, our patience, these are my original sanskars, tolerance. And do I use them or do I use the opposite ones? So here God says, in your eternal form, the original eternal form with our physical bodies, we are souls and we were souls eternally. All of you are those who fly, but because of your burdens, burdens come when we are looking for happiness and joy in the physical world through things. Instead of being flying birds, you have become caged birds. Now, let your eternal sanskars emerge once again. My original eternal sanskars, that is stabilized in your angelic form. An angel is someone who is not concerned about any results favoring them. They are concerned only about how can I serve other human beings by showing my eternal original form. This is called making easy effort. When you become a flying bird, you will be able, you will be up above flying bird means and you don't become a flying bird exactly, but you are thinking in your mind about lighter thoughts and lighter and lighter thoughts and purer thoughts, and automatically you are connected with the supreme creator who's up above, you're able to connect to him. Otherwise, negative impure thoughts don't let us connect to him. You will be up above, and any adverse situations will stay down below. That means heavier things stay down below, lighter things they go up, right? Same is our, for our mind. This is the solution to all problems. That we become lighter, we become connected to God, we talk to Him about it. And that's how we become lighter. But if we take everything, the whole onus on to us, I will do it, I will speak, I will say things. Then it becomes different. Then we start creating more issues. And that is what we learn in Brahma Kumaris. is something which we need to practice and experience it, not just speak about it. Om Shanti with this.